Hello, Aries. Welcome to your reading, your love reading. How this is going to work is this is a you versus them. You're, I'm going to start out with the overall energy between the two of you. Then we're going to get into your energy, your person's energy, and some final advice or guidance. Okay? Now, keep in mind, <clears throat> the roles can be reversed. Okay? So this is for Aries, Sun, Rising, and Moon. Uh, some people say Venus and Jupiter, but I feel like the Sun, Rising, and Moon are the most important planetary placements in your chart to look at, <clears throat> okay? And if you would like a private reading, please do see the description box below. My website, email address, and social media is located there. Also, uh, Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below on how this resonates with you. And when I was like kind of thinking about you guys meditating on your reading, I just got this energy of ego. Ego getting in the way of moving forward or progressing. Ego getting in the way of allowing things to transform and allowing things to move forward so that's just kind of come through from my guides take it as you as it resonates okay so we are going to go ahead and get into your reading and we're going to see what messages and guidance spirit has energy between you two. First thing is we have the world card this is about embracing Embracing new cycles. Embracing change. See what else comes up here. Let's see we have. You're entering a new cycle. Coming together with another person. This is a partnership. Okay. There is a. I, this may even be a partnership that has run its course. And is going through a change or a transformation. Okay, I want to get the rest of these cards and see what other messages come up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Aries, there is a cycle that is coming to a close concerning a partnership. And I don't feel like this is something bad or something negative. I just feel that whatever cycle, whatever you were going through in this connection is ending, it's, and it is getting better. Things are improving with you and your person. There is success. There is growth. There is communications. I feel like that there is improved communications with somebody because we do have the throat chakra. Throat chakra is communication. The throat chakra is expressing yourself, Okay. And I feel that either you or your person or both of you are going to be expressing your feelings, your emotions. Uh, and there is definitely some kind of, I'm feeling a healing. This person, man or woman, even though it shows a man here, is looking at this connection. I get the sense of analyzing things, recognizing issues and problems trying to complete and have a successful completion and the two of you growing together and I feel that this is about concentrating on your communications and there may have been some ego involved but I feel that what I'm, what I'm hearing is an opening up Not holding back anymore. You may have held back out. This is what I was saying about the ego. And my guides are talking to me and giving me channeled messages about <clears throat> this wall here. There's this there's this brick wall. And I'm he I'm seeing these sound waves that are bouncing off the wall and not making it through the wall. So there seemed to have been some kind of blockage with the communication between the two of you. And I feel that somebody is in the mindset of 
Okay, let's move forward. Let's get out of this energy. Let's close the past. Let's start clean slate. That's, and I'm seeing these open arms. So this is about opening up and accepting and embracing this a new cycle with it, with your person. And really, the two of you communicating. <clears throat> okay? So, let's see where this is going. We're going to look at your energy. Then we're going to look at the energy of your person. Did a lot of pre-shuffling and the cards are just about ready. Yes, my gods are saying to stop. <clears throat> you have the page of pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay. I feel that you are the one that had the ego. Okay. I feel like you may have told this person, you may have been holding back out of ego. I need to move these. I do apologize. I never know how much room. I always underestimate how much room I need for my cards. Okay. Um, so the main thing here is page of pentacles in the reverse is a lack of communication. It's a lack of clarity. I Again, I'm getting the standing in this position of ego. There, I feel like that there was a lack of passion. Uh, it's like the spark had been gone because of the lack of communication here. Okay. And there's been no progression forward. Nine of Cups is somebody who, sitting in the Nine of Cups energy, this is the wish fulfillment. Maybe you've and I'm hearing it's run its course. You've gotten what you wanted. But I'm seeing here that it's not complete. There, I feel like ego is standing in the way of your wish fulfillment and things moving forward. There is change that is happening, as I mentioned before, that spirit wants you to embrace. There's a closing of a cycle. For some of you, you might have been closing out a, a cycle and looking at a new connection. You might be communicating with somebody new. For, so for some of you, you might have decided to close out a cycle and move towards your wish fulfillment. But the, I, I get this image of the wheel turning backwards. Still kind of stuck. And not fully embracing a closing of a cycle. Whether this is um, trying to work things out with a current partner or somebody new. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Okay, let's see what your partner's energy is in all of this. We have the Seven of Cups. They're sitting in the energy of confusion. Because they are not sure where you stand Aries they're very confused they're looking at you as maybe they feel you have more other options and they, they, they are unsure of where they stand with you king of pentacles you could be dealing with an earth sign okay um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn this is somebody who is very solid, who is financially secure, financially set. 
who is honest and loyal. That's what I'm getting here. But they are very confused on where you stand. They want, I feel you, this person over here wants something solid. They want something long term. Seven of Swords. But they're sitting in this energy of, I'm hearing survival. They think. They are looking at you, Aries, and feeling that you have multiple options, that you are not being open and honest about. That's where there's a breakdown in communication here. They want something solid. They want to be, show that they are loyal and that they are responsible, okay? But they are in this energy of being confused, feeling like you have multiple options, now, like I said, this energy can be vice versa. You may be looking at them and saying that they have multiple options. Or maybe they have multiple options and they're trying to figure things out. But my guides are saying for a majority, your person is confused about where your loyalties lie. Because you may have been sitting in ego. You may have shut down communications. You may have been very quiet and not very enthusiastic about this connection. You want your wish fulfillment, but there seems to be a stall. And I feel that it is about communicating. Six of Swords. You know, they may be looking at possibly moving on. Because if they don't feel secure, your person's not feeling very secure at all. And they may be moving towards another option. This person, and it is possible for some of you, this person behind the scenes has been looking at other options because they feel that you're unavailable. They feel that you have no interest. So they may be looking at other options and they may be moving on. I, I'm sorry, Aries, but this is just kind of the energies that come out. Uh, let's get some clarity. Dear Spirit, clarify Aries, please, their energy. Clarify Ener Aries' energy, please. Okay, let's see what we have. Ten of Cups happiness so this is like a family gathering I feel like you want that happiness but you feel maybe you feel this person's not it four of pentacles you're being very guarded you're keeping your emotions very close to yourself okay uh, you may be even holding on to an old situation. Ace of Swords. But I feel that this is about communication. Ace of Swords might be cutting something out or speaking your truth. I feel like you need to step up to the plate and speak your truth. And I take that sword and cut some old ties here. Um, we have the four or the five of pentacles. This is about being lonely. You Maybe you felt very much alone ace of cups you weren't feeling the love and four of swords it's like being frozen very cold communications maybe something was filled dead and maybe you want to revitalize it bring it back to life the thaw i hear the thaw it's about the thaw and I feel like, you know, like I said, the roles can be vice versa. But Aries, I'm getting this very cold energy from you. This ego energy. This wall. There is definitely a breakdown in communications here between the two of you. And I think that, that is where the problem lies. Somebody's looking at this 
And I think your person is looking at this and wants success. Maybe you are looking to close out this cycle. You may even have somebody trying to hold on to you. Maybe that's where this Four of Pentacles is coming in. That you are looking at trying to cut ties. But maybe they are trying to hold on. Because maybe you want something new. Take it as it resonates. Let's see what to let's get some clarification on your person's energy. The magician. This is manifesting. This is mastery. This is somebody who knows what they want and they are doing whatever they can to create it. Okay. The lovers in the reverse. So what I feel is that this is a broken connection here. There's a lot of pain involved in this. They're very confused. They may even be because they're confused about what you want. <clears throat> Because I get this energy, you were trying to cut this off. You were trying to embrace a new beginning and to start over, maybe even with somebody new. And they want to move this connection forward into better, better times. Okay? Um, and I feel here that they may have been trying to manifest a new beginning here. Two of Swords here. Wanting a truce, wanting some peace. The tower, you know, the tower fell. And I think they want to rebuild. Queen of Wands in the reverse. But they're not so sure about you. Because they're feeling your energy is not enthusiastic. Knight of Wands in the reverse. And things not moving forward. Some For some of you, this person may have been a player in the past. That you may have decided to cut off. And since you decided to cut them off. Now they're trying to come back. And they're trying to rebuild. But what I'm getting here is. They, they want to come in as solid and secure and loyal. They want to end the, the confusion. They, wanna, they want to end. They want a truce. They want some peace. Because they may recognize that their past behavior may have pushed you away. Okay. And there I feel like you cut them off and it was a shock to them. So I think this was a shock to their system. I think that you cut them off or you were in the trying to detach yourself and they are trying to hold on and you're looking at them and thinking they're trying to hold on. I'm trying to detach, but there's some kind of karmic connection here. And my guides are telling me that the ball's kind of in your court. They want to communicate. They want to grow with you. They want to succeed success with you they're looking at this connection they want to repair it and you're looking at this connection as an ending you want to end this you want a new beginning i think you're trying to close out this cycle while they are trying to hold on is what i'm being shown here okay let's get some additional guidance here to stop that vibration sound uh it's driving me nuts okay your spirit additional messages and guidance here 
concerning this connection for Aries. Re-energize. Yeah, I do feel that your person wants to re-energize this. Um, bring the spark back. But you may be trying to recharge your own energy. Because I think you are tired. I think worn out from this. Love. Re-energizing the love. Abundance. Okay. So I feel that there, this is a re-energizing of love and abundance. The love will bring in abundance. An abundance of love being re-energized. So I do feel this person is sincere, but you, it may be a little bit too late because I feel like you have pretty much had enough, okay? This can also be re-energizing your own energy so that you can accept love and abundance into your life. Again, take it as it resonates. Make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy the manifestation. So you might be making a wish. Maybe you're wishing this person goes away or wishing for a reconnection or they are. Somebody's putting a wish out there. <clears throat> You've worked hard, take a nap, get some rest. Okay, so you may be wishing for a break in this. You may be wishing for being able to put something to rest, having some peace of mind. Or they may be wanting to put the argument to rest and wishing you back in. Take it as it resonates. Worthiness. I think you have found your worthiness. You know your worth. You know your value. And I feel you are wishing that this situation can finally be put to rest. Put behind you. I honestly feel that you want to release from this. You, I, I'm getting this energy of... And when I said ego in the beginning, that can be switched. It could be their ego that could have gotten in the way of this connection. But I, but I, Spirit is elaborating that we're ego, ego on both parts, as Spirit is saying. Okay, so you may have been in the energy of, I'm not going to fail, but... I'm not going to, I am not going to say the first word. I am not going to say the first apology. I'm not going to admit that I'm wrong. That kind of ego. And your person kind of had the same kind of ego. I am not going to bow myself down. I'm going to do what I want to do. But then when you cut them off, they come to realize, oh shit. The oh shit moment. There's the oh shit moment to me in this reading. They come to realize, oh my Aries is cutting me off. My Aries is not communicating now. My Aries has shut me down, shut me off. And now they're fighting to try to come back. See what additional messages, please, Spirit. Additional messages and guidance for my Aries. Potential. Now, potential is talking about a situation has potential. And I keep hearing that you want to let this go. 
even though that there is potential for this situation to work. Now that makes total sense why they first told me the ball's in your court and there's ego. Ego is preventing you from true happiness and wish fulfillment. You want to go find something new because you're tired of this person. Now this person is coming around and trying to change their ways and change their attitudes. But you might be thinking that it's too late. And Spirit says that this does have potential though. The ball's in your court. Huh. You have the potential. This connection has the potential for success. Wow. There is a potential for success, Aries. The ball's basically in your court. You have to decide. Do you really want to get do you want to give this another go around? Because Spirit is saying it has the potential to be successful. At the same time, if you continue to try to close this cycle out and look for something new, I think either way, there is potential for you. You're going to be successful. But I think your wish, your true wish fulfillment, that you could be, because of ego, could be passing it up. Because Spirit is saying this does have potential to work. And I feel like this was a long-term commitment. But you have to decide, is it worth fighting for? Is it worth trying trying again? Has this person changed? I think this is all. these are all the questions you're going to be asking. So, and, but this is what spirit has for me. If this is your story and you want to dig further into this, please do contact me um, for a private reading. And we could dig into this a bit further to find out, okay, are you two really going to come back together or are you going on a new path? So anyhow, that's what I have for you, my dear Aries. And I love you all again. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share and comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.